let's talk about a very interesting scenario in angular hooks as of now we are working with two components first is the public component that is the parent component and second is the author's component that is the child component so here is the home component and it is available inside this app public components and then we have this home folder we have this home component over here the author's component that is the child component that is available over here in the shared folder let's say i am passing some data from parent to child in form of an object and to create an object first let's create an model so here in this application i am going to create a new folder with name models like this and here i am going to create a new model or it is better to put it inside the shared folder because it is common to everyone so let's just move this models folder to the shares and inside the models let's add a new file here i'm writing authors.model.ts you can have any meaningful name to your class so basically this is a contract that we will use and here in the angular it is always recommended to use the interface so here i'm using export interface and let's give it a name i'm writing authors model author model and this is a very simple model it will have only two properties first is the id it is a number and second is a name it is a string let's copy this name go back to our child component that is the authors component over here and here let's expect this data in form open input so here i'm writing input and let's use authors you can give any meaningful name and let's use this author model let's use the proper import like this just save all the changes now we need to pass its data from parent to child and before that let's display its data on the html so here i'm writing author data let's use some br tag let's not focus too much on the html design let's focus on the concept so here i will display the id and the id is authors let's use author instead of authors because we are having data only for one single author author dot id similarly let's use one more br tag and let's use the name author dot name and now i am going to pass its data from the parent so let's copy this author model go to the parent class over here and here also let's create one public property so public let's give any name let's say here i'm writing only the obj and let's resolve this import like this and let's define some default values so id is 10 and the name is with this save all the changes this time i have to pass it in the html file over here so here i can use authors author and let's define our obj very good save all the changes go back to the browser what do we have we are having the error let's fix it go to the html file and here we were missing one curly braces that is why we were not getting the data so save the changes go back to the browser again okay so we are having this id 10 and this is the name nitis now let's see what we have in our own changes method in this own changes method we are having the data of all these three properties this is the author and it is having id name and all other details we are having the data of the data and data too so these are two properties that we are using in this child component now let's make some twist in this logic so basically i'm passing the data of an author from parent to child so this is the child and based on the id of this new author i want to get some data from my api what i mean by this line is so let's say i'm passing 10 over here based on this 10 value i want to get some data 
and from one of the previous video you know that we can get the updated data of the input property over here in this ng on changes method so ideally we will get this data of id here in this changes parameter this will work perfectly fine now let's make some twist in the parent component and inside this counter method i will update the value of this id how this dot obj dot id is equals to let's say i'm assigning this dot count like this save all the changes go back to the browser let's see what we have in this ng on changes we are having the data of all three properties we are having the default value that is the 10 let's click on this counter button so what do we have now we are having the updated value over here in the id and because we are not changing the name that is why there is no change over here okay now let's see what is available in this ng on changes so this is unexpected in the ng on changes method we are having only two properties although we are changing the data of this author model but we are not getting that object over here in the ng on changes let's hit the counter button again again also you will notice that we are not getting it so what is the problem that we are doing over here this is not a problem this is just a concept what we are doing over here we are updating the existing reference of this particular object and if you are making some changes in the existing reference of a particular object then the ng on changes will not deduct that it will simply compare the reference and the values if the reference of the object is same from the parent to child then the ng on changes method will not display its value if there is a change in the reference like this so let's say here i'm using it like this this is the id and let's use another name Just save all the changes so this time i am creating a new object of this author model and i am assigning it to this object so the reference is different this time let's see what will happen in this scenario okay so first time we are having all three properties hit the counter button again you will see we are having all three properties because this time we are updating the reference no matter how many times you will click on this counter button you will always get the updated value because the reference is different okay now let's switch to the previous logic this one in this scenario when the reference is same we are having the updated data on the html but the ng on changes is not deducting it to handle this situation we have to work with ng do check what is the meaning of ng do check this ng do check is also an hook and this time we are checking all the changes manually here we are in the child component and to work with ng do check i have to implement do check okay and inside this method i can display the value of this author save the changes go back to the browser so first time we are having this message from the ng on changes and this message is from ng do check let's remove it and hit the counter button again you will see we are not having this data in the ng on changes but we are having the updated values in the ng do check it means we are checking all the changes manually and this time we are not focusing on the reference or values we will get the updated values in ng do check every time so make sure you are using this method very carefully and remember one more very important point do not use both of them at once in your application because in most of the cases these two will get cold and you will end up writing the complex logic in your application